this is not the tier list you're going to be expecting, folks. This is, uh, it's not ranked by spiciness per se. I feel like that would be a, a failure. Where the hell is my browser window? <laughs> We're going to start off with, uh, with cheese. Just because I feel like cheese is kind of the uh, most appropriate place to start. Though I'm still undecided on where cheese is actually going to go. Go ahead and open a lovely bunny rabbit. Am I missing uh, someone who just sent me a picture of swords? They said they're Diablo. I don't think you want to be Diablo because Diablo is actually not the best sauce. I just have them in an inconsequential order. There's nothing here in the order that indicates all sauces have their own ups and downs and things that they're good for. Let's start with this fellow fella, feller, fillet. Is fillet gender neutral? This little fillet is an avocado ranch. Avocado ranch is not the worst sauce. It is just long forgotten. These are all the standard sauces that stay on the line at all times. Avocado ranch is used a lot for special items. It's, it's requested by people who know it. You know, they're like, that's what I want. I know I want avocado ranch. Avocado ranch is what I'm looking for. And I'm not going to have anything else. You're not spicy, but you're good. And you're surprisingly good on a lot of things. Uh, quesadillas are actually not half bad if you add avocado ranch to them. Even though you're not the default in a lot of recipes, that doesn't make you any less uh, valuable or sought after. When it comes to spicy ranch isn't actually spicy. Spicy ranch wants to think it's spicy, but it hasn't really done anything to earn that title. Everything else on the board is spicier than spicy ranch. I'm pretty sure avocado ranch is spicier than spicy ranch. Spicy ranch thinks turtle feathers is a swear word. Jalapeno and chipotle are very standard sauces. Chipotle is not good on everything. Jalapeno sauce is. So the hot category, in my opinion, is one of the best sauces available. It has a good level of spice, a good level of flavor. And you don't lose the flavor. When you get up to Diablo, yeah. you kind of lose what makes the sauce good. Everybody asks for mild, and that's fine. But hot and fire are the most spice you can get without the sauce losing its value. Uh, because by the time you get to Diablo, it just tastes like you're licking Tabasco, like the side of a hot boiler pot. There's nothing actually that you get out of it besides saying that you put Diablo on your taco bell doesn't actually taste good so we have this filet falls into chipotle sauce is a good sauce it's a good standard creamy and spicy sauce however it is not good on everything you're the kind of sauce that's good on potatoes is good on chicken is good in some burritos um, but you just don't work on a quesadilla and that's just that's just that you know you'd be good as a substitute for anything that would otherwise require spicy ranch and it would probably taste a lot better. Gordita Crunch with Chipotle, it would, it's an upgrade, gotta say. Ooh, Gawain. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know if I can say that correctly. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Where Gawain would fall on the sauce spectrum here. Uh, Gawain is definitely a specialty sauce, so going to go into the Chipotle category. It's a very unique aesthetic to be a skeleton and a mecha, and while that is very yummy and very applicable to most foods, you might not be good on quesadillas, and that's just how it is. That's a specialty sauce, very sought after, very often requested. This bunny seemed like a, such a specific design that I feel like it goes in the specialty sauces. I have always loved rabbits. This is super biased. There's just a lot of things about this character design that gets me, and I'm the person who puts jalapeno sauce on everything, literally everything. It's not even necessarily that spicy. But I just find it something that universally on most things, I can put it there and I'll be like, yeah, that's working. I like that. And that's how I feel about this rabbit person <laughs> is, yeah, that's working. I like that. I also like the two variants of it. Um, that was nice. Maki sent me spicy Maki and regular Maki. Belongs actually in the hot category. Maki 
who I know personally, has a lot of flavor, has a lot of personality, isn't too spicy that you lose that essential je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Pretty important, I think. So I'll put this secondary maki though in the fire category. Fire is the highest. Here you can go as far as spice before you lose flavor. Where did cheese go? Uh, oh, this is about to be so unprecedented. Katana person, because you introduced yourself as a Diablo person, I'm gonna go out on a limb. And I'm going to put you in quote-unquote spicy ranch. Now, this is not a punishment category. <laughs> Fill a good sauce. However, you are not spicy. It might just be my presumption here, but you think you're spicy. And people who are spicy ranch are still satisfying and entertaining to see. It's just that you think turtle feathers is a swear. I'm going to say it. <laughs> Uh, now I saved cheese for last because I've known cheese for a number of years now. Hmm. Mild sauce? I'm not going to put cheese in mild sauce, but I'm going to explain what the problem is with mild sauce as a category. But what you get from mild sauce, you can get from hot and fire sauce and actually have something tangible. How many times have you asked for a mild sauce and then you throw it in the trash? It's every time. Everybody asks for mild sauce. Everybody searches for mild sauce. But they don't actually want mild sauce. It's like the meme of saying you want big titty goth gf. Gf? Gf? Gif? Gf? Girlfriend? But it's like most people don't really want a big titty goth gf. <laughs> Mild and Diablo are actually the worst sauces for a reason I have not put anybody in those categories. Mild sauce is bland and it's not even spicy. Diablo sauce is spicy and it's still bland. They're just the two categories that it's like if I if I were like to put someone in one of these categories, you would either have to look like the most the most generic possible to get in mild sauce. Or the edgiest possible to get into di Diablo sauce. Yeah. Oh, excuse my throat. I know I sound like a dead horse. Put cheese in the hot sauce. And that's gonna be it. So yeah, thank you to everyone who participated. I was really tempted to put um, White Hot Ranch on this tier list because White Hot Ranch is actually the... Um, the hottest sauce in so far that I have seen uh, Taco Bell have, and but it is a temporary sauce. It's not a permanent line sauce, but it's so hot that like by itself you choke on it. But in something, it has a really satisfying creamy flavor. I actually have two pints of white hot ranch in my fridge. Don't ask where I got it. I just have it. I haven't put it on much. I put it on like a barbecue burger that I I had at a cookout. I'm thinking though I might, if it hasn't gone bad yet, because it's a week or two old. If it hasn't gone bad yet, I think I might see if I can put it on dinner tonight and see how it tastes. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good. White Hot Ranch was the superior sauce. I really wish it was a permanent line sauce because it, it, it was doing it good. It was doing it so good.